welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on the consequences of inflation for individuals. Inflation can have a number of consequences for individuals, including a fall in consumer confidence, falling real incomes, an increasing wealth and income gap, shoe leather costs, debtors benefiting and savers losing. Let's take a look at each of these issues in more detail. When inflation is high, people are uncertain how much money they will need to get by and to have the things they want in the future. This can lead people to save money rather than spending money. It can also lead people to put off big decisions about big purchases. When inflation is high, the majority of workers will receive a below inflation pay raise. This decreases their spending power and therefore means they have a lower standard of living because at the end of the year, they can buy less things with their income than they could the year before. For those people that are in a high skilled job with high demand and a low supply of workers, they may be in a position to negotiate above inflation pay raises. Meanwhile, people who are stuck on minimum wage and those on benefits are unlikely to be able to do the same. This means the gap between rich and poor continues to grow. One way that regular workers try to battle for sensible pay rises when there is high inflation is through their trade unions. A strong trade union can negotiate a better pay rate for their workers. It's no surprise then that as we're seeing record levels of inflation, we're also seeing record levels of union membership. Shoe leather costs is an old fashioned term referring to wearing out your shoes as you go all over town looking for the best prices. The concept still applies to the time it takes and the effort it takes to shop around. That doesn't matter whether that is online, in person or by phone. For debtors, the real value of both the principal that they must pay back and their yearly interest is lower when inflation is high. However, as many of these will be variable rate mortgage holders and a common response to high inflation is to raise interest rates, that sense of gain may not last long. For savers, the real value of their savings is eroded away by inflation. This is particularly important for those that rely on their savings like pensioners that aren't going to earn any new income. When it comes to making that final evaluative statement, remember that although inflation is likely to be bad for everyone, it's worse for some people than others, with high earners that are more skilled being less likely to feel its impact. Also, the total amount of inflation, that is, the inflation rate that it reaches, and the length of time we've got high inflation for will both affect the extent to which it is damaging for individuals. That brings us to the end of this video on the consequences of inflation for individuals. Join me again for the next video where I'll be looking at the consequences for producers and for the government. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics and until next time it's bye for now.